Today in our 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK, we're going to be taking a look at the Roadmaster Stowmaster Tow Bar, part number RM-501. If you're looking to flat tow your Jeep, there are going to be several components for a complete setup so we can safely get it down the road. So we'll need a base plate. We have our Roadmaster EZ4 base plate. You'll need a tow bar to hook everything up. We have our Roadmaster Stowmaster. You'll need wiring. We have the Roadmaster diode kit with the included plug and cable. You'll need a set of safety cables. We have the Roadmaster coiled safety cables. Finally, you'll need a braking system. We're using the Stay and Play Duo. Once you have all these components in place, you're ready to load up your motorhome and hit the road. So here's what our tow bar looks like once we have it installed and hooked up. And this is going to serve as the attachment point between our motorhome and the base plate that's on our Jeep. It's going to be a coupler style tow bar, which means it's going to hook directly up to a 2 inch ball. Just keep in mind you do need a ball mount and you may need to find an appropriate rise or drop to match up so we can have a nice level towing setup. The arms on our tow bar are going to have a self-aligning design to them. And what that means is they're going to extend out and retract, so it makes it a lot easier hooking up, even if we're not directly behind the motorhome. Once the arms are fully extended, they're going to lock into a rigid towing position. And if you look on top here, we're going to have this button. That's going to release the arms and let them telescope in and out again. And that's going to make it a lot easier unhooking, so we can move the arms and uncouple as needed. The inner arms are going to be made of stainless steel, so they're going to resist rust and corrosion and be a lot easier to slide in and out. And on each arm, we're going to have these nylon bushings. It's going to make sure that the arms slide in and out easily and keeps out the dirt, grime, and debris. And both the arms are going to attach to this slide bar here that's going to allow the arms to come together and then also have this angle iron piece for added strength. Both arms are going to attach to this slide bar so they can easily move into the stored position and then also have this angle iron bracket for added strength. The arms are going to measure out to 53 and a half inches long in the extended position and that's going to be measured from the center of the disconnect to the center of the ball. In the collapsed position our arms are going to be 43 inches long. Our tow bar is going to be compatible with most Roadmaster base plates. However, it's not going to be compatible with the MS, MX, or EZ5 base plates. And whenever we're not towing, unhooking is going to be easy. You can come to the coupler, unlatch it, and then we'll bring the arm up. Make sure we unlock both of them. Bring our coupler straight up. We're going to slide the arm over. And then right behind the coupler on the arm, there's going to be this small rectangle. We'll rotate it over and put the post right inside that channel. Then we can secure it with the clip right here on that post. And then we have the option of storing it on the front of our towed vehicle just like this, or we can remove it completely. And to remove it completely, we're going to have two pins on the top. So we'll simply just pull the pin out on each side. Then we can lift the entire tow bar off and store it somewhere safe. And putting the tow bar back on is going to be just as easy. It's going to slide right into the quick disconnect. And then we can put our pins back in place. Our Stowmaster is going to have a weight capacity of 6,000 pounds. But you always want to double check your vehicle's weight as well as the hitch on your motorhome and the ball mount that you're going to be using. Our Stowmaster is a tried and true design. It's been used a lot, but compared to other tow bars with the coupler style, our Stowmaster is going to have those extendable arms that are going to make it a lot easier to unhook and hook up. Also, we're going to have the option to store it on the front of our vehicle, as well as a quick disconnect, which makes it easy to install and remove. Let's show you how to get it hooked up. To begin our installation, we'll grab one of our brackets. They are going to be labeled. This one's passenger side. It doesn't have an arrow pointing up. These two elongated holes are going to line up with our base plate. And we'll take the spacer block that's got the two round holes in it, we'll line it up, and we're going to drop down two half inch bolts through, going all the way through the bracket and the spacer. We'll line up the two holes so that it goes all the way through the base plate. And then each one of the bolts will take a flat washer, a lock washer, 
And then finally we're going to secure it with a hex nut. Now you want to get this snug by hand, but you still want to be able to move the bracket back and forth. So we'll just get the hardware loosely tightened up. And once we have all the pieces on, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to grab our tow bar and we need to fit it so that the tabs on top come through the top here and then the tabs on the tow bar itself go through the bottom holes. And once we get it fitted up, we want to make any kind of adjustments left and right on the brackets themselves. That way we can take it off and put it on easily. Once we have the tow bar on and we can easily slide it on and off, we're going to remove it and we're going to torque down our bolts. And we'll find the specification in our instructions. You want to make sure you torque all your hardware down. Then once the bolts are torqued down, we'll take our tow bar and make sure that it still fits easily into the slots. If you can remove it and put it on easily, then it's in the correct position. Then we'll take the pins and we're going to insert them into the top and we'll slide it over making sure it fully engages the rest of the pin. We'll do that for both sides. Then we can pull our Jeep up behind our motorhome. Keep in mind you want to be somewhat close so that you can get the coupler to hook onto your ball mount. And speaking of that, you may need to get a drop or a rise for your ball mount and make sure it has a two inch ball so we can hook everything up. And we want our tow bar to be nice and level. So we'll come to the driver's side on the front, we'll remove the pin, then we can lift up the tow bar, then we're going to slide the arm towards the driver's side to where it goes all the way over. Then we can rotate the coupler down until it rests on the ball. So you want to make sure the coupler is open before you fully drop it down on the ball and then we can lift the lever, rotate it forward until we can get it to lock into place. Then we can hook up our safety cables and all the other components and we're ready to hit the road. That'll finish up your look at the Roadmaster Stowmaster Tow Bar, part number RM-501 on our 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK.